I'm going to do something a little different for this shot. I'm going to try some intentional camera movement. On the first frame, I'm going to move the camera while I shoot at a low shutter speed. And then I'm going to take another shot with the same frame, but with a higher frame rate and steady. Then I will combine those two frames into a composite that should be kind of creative. Let's get to work and edit and combine these two images. I still had a lot of the spots from the last photo shoot on the sensor, so I'm going to start with a bunch of blemish removal. With that finished, I'm going to pull the second image in that had the movement, clean it up a bit. I will now copy the whole canvas of the one with movement and paste it over the clear one. There we go, we have that new layer on top. I'm gonna to turn the opacity down a little bit so I can see how they're blending together. They're not quite lined up as expected. I was doing this all handheld. So I'm going to use the perspective tool. I'm trying to line up the tree trunks so the images appear a bit more coherent. That looks pretty good and lined up now. I'm going to turn the opacity of the movement layer to full and put it behind the focused layer. I will now mask the focused layer and use a gradient to let only parts of the blurred image through. I'm going to have the ends white and then put the middle... Wait a minute, that's backwards. I'm going to put the ends to black and the middle to white. That way just the detailed parts of the trees remain in sharp focus. I'm going to turn the ends to a slight gray so it's not 100% of the effect showing through. I'm going to slide the white part of the gradient up to the top of the trees there. We got that neat sort of hazy blur at the bottom now and a little bit of that effect in the sky. I have it pretty strong at the bottom and it's just touching the top of the trees now. It's looking pretty good. Next I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit here. Make it more dramatic. Let's use our infrared color swap on the channel mixer preset. Ooh, that's looking really good already. The sun had come out for this shot and the color difference, the contrast between the sky and the trees is just fantastic. I'm going to crop the image down a little bit. We have that strange transparent edge from where I used the perspective tool to line up the images. So we're gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of the image to get rid of that. And those stray branches on the right are kind of distracting. So I'm going to bring it in until those are out of the frame. I have the ratio of the crop set to 16 by 9 because I think this will make a nice wallpaper for my computer, so that's what I'm aiming for. I like how it looks as is, but I'm going to try play with the colors just a little bit more. I'm going to add the gradient map that we made for a previous photo with the dark blue in the shadows, orange in the mid-tones, and a pinkish highlight. And then use the hue, saturation, and lighting overlay on that that we used on one of the ruins shots. I'm gonna blend that with an overlay and bring the opacity down just to get some of those red orange colors in the trees. That is looking pretty cool. Definitely more dramatic than it was without those layers. So either way is fine, but I like it a little more exciting. <laughs> 